In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Born Pretty's Nail Tips and Glue Kit. Before I go on, I am sick, so I sound a hot mess right now. <laughs> but I am hoping that it doesn't sound too bad. So to get started, this kit comes with a whole bunch of things. The first thing is these French tip guides. I was gonna use it for this video, but then I told myself, I think it's easier for me to just draw French tips. I don't really have good luck with those, so I decided not to. There is a mini nail file, and next is this red pigment powder. I think it will go on as a chrome finish, I'm not sure. I wanted to try it, but I looked at it and said, where is the rest of the powder <laughs> so i said i'm gonna figure this out another day and use it in a different design next is this mini lamp which i'm really excited for because i really want a lamp like this where it's kind of open so that you can hold onto your nail tip whilst it cures Next is the 6-in-1 nail glue and I wanted to see what makes it 6-in-1 and I'm going to put the picture up on the screen somewhere but it's pretty cool. You can actually use it as a nail hardener for your natural nail. And finally in this kit are the nail tips. There are five different shapes. They come in packs of 10 in the box but it's just two of each shape. There are three regular nail tips, there is coffin, square and ballerina and there are two full coverage nail tips which are both coffin but one is long and the other is short. For this set I'm going to use my peel off base coat. I wanted to actually try this kit without my peel off base coat just to see how long it would last but I'm kind of glad I did the peel off base coat because I ended up taking off my initial design and I'm very indecisive so if I have it on there permanently and I don't like it, I'll be forced to do my non-dominant hand and I haven't done that in over a year. But anyways, that's besides the point. If you want these to last, don't use the peel off base coat and just go ahead with your normal nail prep. This is the consistency of the glue. It's kind of like a really thick top coat. For the nail tips, I decided to go with the long full coverage coffin shape. So when applying the nail tips, you want to put a tiny bit of that gel into your tip and then when you're putting it on your nail, start at the cuticle area and then push towards the free edge. Once you have it where you want it, then you go ahead and put it under the lamp. I found that it would cure within like 10 seconds, but I kept it under there for 30. Also, a quick tip is to turn on your lamp before you put your finger under the lamp because it just makes it a little bit easier so that you don't accidentally maybe bump your nail tip before curing. But that is pretty much it for the method. It took me maybe five minutes to get them all on. And this is how they look. I had a little bit of it seep out on my middle finger. So I went in with my e-file to get rid of it. If you don't have an e-file, you can also use the mini file that they included. That works just as good. Once I was done filing the cuticle area, I buffed the tips off camera. Now, I don't ever do this because I don't have issues with chipping. I just apply my polish straight over the tips. But this time, <laughs> I got alcohol all over the tips and it left that cloudiness. So I buffed it to get rid of it because I was going to do a clearish set and I didn't want it to show through. Here I'm applying the Cat Eye Omnipotent Gel from Born Pretty. I was going to do the rhinestones straight over the clear tips but I've done something like that in the past so I wanted to see how it would look with this cat eye gel. I applied the polish on camera and then I used the magnet off camera only because the last time I tried to show you the magnets moving there was not much happening <laughs> so I decided to do it off camera. Whilst I'm painting I'm going to show you the original design that I did. So that is the design. That is actually a design that I had an obsession with in my first year of, I think, university or could have been second. But every time I was up in that nail shop, I went and got that. Sometimes I'd switch it up and get the, <laughs> I'd get the full glitter nail on the index, like, or maybe on the pinky. I was obsessed with it. And the one guy that used to do that design for me, he left. 
and the rest of them couldn't do it so i was forced to do other things <laughs> but i was like ever since i started doing nerves i haven't done it i want to see if i like it and i did at first and then i kept staring at them staring at them and i said i hate this and i felt that i should do something a little bit better using this kit Once I was done painting the Omnipotent Cat Eye Gel, I used my magnet, cured it, then went in with my super top coat. I decided to use the crystals that I got from TikTok. If you haven't seen that video, it's my last one. But I went for these canine iridescent crystals. I adhered the rhinestones using the 6-in-1 nail glue. I wanted to see how well they would hold the rhinestones and I think they're doing pretty good because I still have them on. But speaking of these rhinestones, the shine and shift on them are absolutely crazy. I don't want to take off my set just for that reason. When I was done doing my set, I realised like I had been touching them, there was fingerprints, I had a bit of my wax pencil kind of smeared all over it. So I went to wash my hands with dish soap and I used the sponge to kind of lightly wash over the rhinestones and i swear they shined even more <laughs> i didn't think it was possible but they they shined even more here i'm just applying the rhinestones i don't have like an idea mapped out i'm just sticking and sticking <laughs> a lot of it i actually took my hand out of frame and repositioned it but it's nothing special i don't really do a lot of rhinestone work so it's nothing too crazy but i need to take a break because my throat is on fire <laughs> So I'll be back to explain the next part. Once I was done, I washed my hands like I said and then I applied my cuticle oil. And this is the finished result. These shine so many different colours in so many different lightings. So in the sun, it's kind of orangey and light blue. But in lower light is where I think it looks the best and it's like blue. But it almost looks like it's glowing like i went into a dark room it was pretty dark in this room and i could still see him shining like it was crazy but anyways thank you to born pretty for sending me this kit if you guys like this video like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching